guys, um, this is the video on markers, um, or at least um, advanced markers. Um, markers are um, great for kind of keeping um, your, um, giving you a visual um, representation of where your perhaps your corn, your chorus, your um, your intros, whatever they may be, are. Um, so let's just um, show you some of that. Uh, right click, select Add Marker Track. And we'll just pop it up to the top there. We'll make it a little bit bigger so I can show you that. Okay, there's a couple of ways of adding markers. Um, you can add the marker by using the pencil. And as you can see, that's snapping to any of the whatever the quantize is set. So if I want marker 1 to be there, marker 2 there, 3 there, 4 there. Um, uh, you can also, um, depending on where the play indicator is, you can use the uh, add marker button here, which adds the marker for you. Um, you can also, uh, th th these markers can be given names, as you can see, there's 54321 there. Um, if I select marker number 2, if I go up to the info line and just give that a name, so say that was chorus or whatever, we can call it chorus. And you'll see that it's given its, um, uh, it's named that marker to what we put in. You can also change the IDs of the marker. So say I wanted to change that from, uh, for instance, number 5. Let's use number 5. Say I wanted to have number 5 where number 4 is and number 4 where number 5 is. If I come here and change the ID of 5 to 4, you'll see that that one changes to 4 and that one will change to 5. There we go. So I've changed the IDs. Um, markers are um, set by, uh, they have uh, key commands, which is your numeric keypad. So uh, one and two is your left and right locators. So three is marker number three, four is marker number four, five is marker number five. And you can see what it's doing. It's moving the play indicator to the marker. So five, four, etc. Now 1 and 2 is left and right so you could change these um, IDs to maybe 6 and 7 and um, you'll be able to use you'll be able to um, use the numeric keypads for number 6 and 7 to jump to those markers. Um, in the inspector you can also jump from uh, markers by just left clicking to the side. There you go. As you can see it's jumping to whatever marker you want it to go to. Um, there's also a different type of marker called the cycle marker. Now, say we wanted to say this was a specific loop that we wanted to put a marker on. If you come over here, you'll see it here, add cycle marker. So if I do that, you'll see that the cycle markers came there. We can come back up to the um, the um, the info line and give that a, a name. So say that was your chorus. Um, oh, we've already got chorus. So say that was um, loop one. There we go. It's given it a name now. Um, let's have a look what else there is in regards to markers. Let me just see if I can move this out a bit. Yeah, so we've also... Um, we can also... Um, oh yeah, if you come down here to the zoom um, selection, if I um, left-click in there, you'll see that um, I've got the cycle marker here called loop one. So say if I just go like this, say if it's there and I come down here and I select loop one, what happens is it zooms into loop one. Now a better way to show you that is to have the um, the cycle marker set to that. So the left and right locator set to there. So we've selected that, but if I select zoom uh, loop one, it will zoom in just to that selection. Very cool indeed. Helps loads. You can also kind of bring this section here. Um, you can uh, make this a bit kind of easier to see by going to Project and select Markers. This will bring the Marker window up. And here you can add, remove, move markers. And you can ask it to show only markers, only cycle markers, or all the markers. Um, 
which is it just makes things that little bit easier because you make it nice and big and then you can double click in here and kind of rename them and you can do whatever you like in there and um, you can also if you go to the, the the bottom left hand side of the marker you can move depending on um, how the markers have been set now that's probably not working because I've got it set to that but now it'll work uh, I can change the loop size and um, you can also move markers um, here there's the zoom setting um, like I showed you down here and um, so if that if that wasn't zoomed into that, if we come here and select that, it'll zoom back into the loop. So that's a little bit about markers. Um, markers are really handy. Um, they give you a visual representation of what's going on and keeps things nice and tidy. Okay, see you in the next video.